Betelgeuse. Some people pronounce it Betelgeuse because that's a bit more like the original Arabic name. Whatever you want to call it, it's the bright orange star in the constellation Orion. Its official name is Alpha Orionis. But I'm just going to stick with Betelgeuse. What's special about it is that it's one of the closest stars to the Sun that will eventually explode. It lies at a distance of about 640 light years. Now, only massive stars blow up at the end of their lives. They have to be about 8 or 10 times as massive as the Sun at least in order to become what are called supernovae. We don't need to worry about the Sun ever exploding because that's physically impossible. Betelgeuse is about 10 million years old, which isn't much as far as stars go. The Sun, for instance, is nearly 5 billion years old. But Betelgeuse is already senile. That's because the more massive a star is, the hotter it gets deep inside, and so the faster it runs through its main nuclear fuel. The main fuel of stars is hydrogen in the core, which is converted into helium by nuclear fusion and in the process a lot of energy is released. Betelgeuse has raced through its core hydrogen supply and has now swelled up to become what's called a red supergiant. It's one of the largest stars that we can see with our eyes alone, although much bigger ones have been found with telescopes. If it was put in place of the Sun, its surface would reach out nearly as far as Jupiter. In fact, it's so big that our largest telescopes can resolve it as a disk and even make out features on its surface. At some point in the next million years or so, Betelgeuse will explode. We can't be sure exactly when because we don't know how much mass Betelgeuse had to start with. It will have lost some along the way. And we don't know how long it's been a red supergiant. It could blow up in well under 100,000 years or live as long as a million but it's unlikely to happen soon on a human timescale. When it does finally become a supernova, it won't pose any threat to life on Earth in terms of harmful radiation, but it will certainly look very spectacular in the sky. For a couple of months, it might outshine the full moon, and it'll be easily visible during the daytime. Then it'll quickly fade. Most of it will have been blown off into space, and will be visible through telescopes as an expanding supernova remnant. What's left behind, the dead core of the old star, will have collapsed to become a neutron star, an incredibly dense ball made mainly of neutrons packed tightly together, just a few miles across, and so dense that a matchbox full of its matter would weigh about 3 billion tonnes. Betelgeuse almost certainly won't produce a black hole, unlike some even bigger stars that we'll meet in another of these videos.